Some highlights from our organization? Seed money came from a retired school teacher who loved to skydive. Our first project in South Africa was a community art studio funded entirely by selling beaded dolls we brought home in a suitcase. When property near the studio went up for sale, we raised funds at the birthday of our founder, Dorothy, where everyone bought a yellow brick and wore red shoes. Now it's home to our new community center. And we've generated $100,000 for South Africans by selling their art, mostly at house parties. That's how we work, seizing opportunities, making use of what's available, and having fun. For the residents of Kailicha, where the businesses will be located, survival is a daily struggle. With the largest HIV positive population in the world and the highest rate of domestic violence, economic independence for women is critical. We realize that creating a locally run tourist destination would offer the greatest sustainability while providing funding for literacy and health programs. Despite the overwhelming conditions, Kailicha is filled with ambitious people who refuse to be discouraged. You could see this at the grand opening of our center, Home in the Hood, where the businesses will reside. It gave a glimpse into the community spirit that will thrive with small business development. As guests arrived at the opening celebration, we could imagine the impact of a tour operation. Attracting tourists will not only generate revenue, but create new opportunities for cultural exchange. Our market research has helped us develop a unique model that will set Home in the Hood apart as Cape Town's number one township tour destination. Thanks to a donated van, we're the only township venue to provide transportation. On the way, guests will learn the rich history of Kailicha. The main attraction will be the art boutique. Through three years of networking, we've connected with over 500 emerging artists and will feature an unequaled selection of handmade styles, making Home in the Hood unlike any other gallery. In this way, the businesses will affect attitudes of both visitor and resident. The township is not about impoverishment. It possesses remarkable beauty and creativity, which can only grow as businesses thrive and standards of living rise. Next, the tea shop. Nothing creates comfort like good food. We are unique in providing space to engage with artists. This encourages other tour services to bring clients as well, as longer township visits benefit their businesses too. For travelers wanting deeper cultural immersion, we'll provide overnight bed and breakfast accommodations and a second story view of Kailicha that is second to none. Home in the hood creating opportunities, building relationships, transforming lives.